frozen. Kill them off. But yet another kiosk, publicly found, that has a keyboard sticking out the side of the screen. Uh, a virtual keyboard. And, you know, I've done lots of videos on this before, and uh, lots of times you get, you know, interfaces like that. It's it's uh, Windows desktop. Uh, I have come across a few that are running Linux, and but that's not my issue. And I try to try to make that clear. I know I I, I talk up Linux, but there's just practices that uh, no matter what you're doing, you should follow regardless of what operating system you're running. And that is, if you have some sort of kiosk that's just running one application, you shouldn't have a desktop environment running. There is no reason for that. Now, I haven't used Windows regularly in over 10 years, uh, 13 years now. Um, at least back in the day with like Windows XP, you can go in the registry, and somewhere in the registry, I don't remember where, there, there's an option uh, that is your desktop, and it starts up Explorer, not Internet Explorer, but Explorer, your desktop. And if you go in there and you change that executable, it's just changing the text to a program, it will start up that program instead of Internet Explorer. I don't know if that's the best way to go about it, but I know that it can be done. And on Linux, obviously, you can pick different desktops and, and window managers, and it's very simple to just go into a config file and say, hey, start up Xorg and run this program to where you have no desktop environment running behind it, because there is no need for a desktop environment running behind uh, a piece of software like this. Again, it's a kiosk designed to run one application. So as long as you have that application start up, start full screen. That way, if it crashes, it's just a, a blank screen. In fact, if you can should set up a watchdog that if that program closes, it either reopens or restarts the machine. And as I talked about in a previous video, uh, there should be no hard drives in these machines. They should be doing uh, network loads or have some sort of non-writable media uh, in them. Uh, but they're running full versions of Windows, and every time I come across this, uh, Windows running with desktop, some sort of kiosk, they always have that keyboard down the left side. And when you start doing stuff, and it's not, it's not like it's hidden, you start doing stuff in the kiosk, and, and you can see the edge of the keyboard, and you just pull it out. This one was a little different because I had to pull and then press the button and said, just pull, but it was there. And my daughter came over and just started touching stuff on the screen and crashed the the, the uh, kiosk application, which I quickly went in and it was in the start menu and I started it back up. I didn't leave it crashed like that. I'm not trying to be malicious. I'm just trying to point out how insecure kiosks are, especially if they're asking for personal information, never putting your personal information, and just advice to anyone who's designed a kiosk. Again, who cares that they're running Windows? I mean, I, I care. It's You're paying licenses for no reason. But there is no reason to have a desktop environment running on that. Uh, again, if it's loading through a network image, if you need to do any updates, you update the image, and next time that system reboots, it boots the updates. There's there's real no need. Now, if it has, uh, you know, no rival media in it, uh, you know, like I said in the past, just some sort of hard drive, like an SD card with a physical switch that makes it incapable of writing, you'd have to go in there and swap out the card. But again, it all depends on how you want to do it. But just don't trust any kiosk out there. Uh, any computer that is accessible to anybody, never put in personal information in there. And this is just, I, it seems like I can't go out these days without finding some machine that's a touch screen that's open to the public that has that keyboard that allows me to close the kiosk application and have access to everything on the computer. So it's just, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know who designs these things. It's like computer 101. Don't load software that you don't need loaded and you don't need a desktop on a kiosk application. So Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.